Ready to see some dolphins? Yeah, I'm ready. It's Is so it early. Day? Yeah, it is. It's so early. Adam's trying to talk to everyone in the hostel and wondering why they're being so One person. <laughs> this is such a sick boat with the two like big stabilizers each side. It seems like a camera. That's like a, like a wooden, yeah, it's like a wooden cat catamaran. Sick. I don't think you can quite see it on the GoPro yet, but there are so many boats over here. It's a little bit ridiculous. But I'll wait until we get a bit closer to show you. Look at all the boats. And keep in mind, this is also the low season, so I can only imagine what it's like in high season. Some of the boats have like two people in them, some of them have one, and others are like, well, they have like six people on them. But yeah. I'm guessing this is where the dolphins are, you know, judging by the amount of boats. We've been on the boat like an hour now, still no sign of any dolphins. Uh, we don't think there's much logic in the way of finding them. It seems like one person starts to go one way and then everybody follows. I think it's a case of the blind leading the blind. But well, it could be wrong. It could be very wrong. But we're yet to see a dolphin. And we're over here and everyone else is over there. So maybe waiting for them to tin out so we can get a proper a proper look. So we have come to the other side of the bay. And look what we have just found. Oh my god. Yeah, please. Sick. You said that you feel lonely, makes you cold as ice. Hard to get to know me, the better than the lies. No way I'd let you slip by. No way I'd let you say bye. You say Some coral, it's gonna do a bit of snorkeling. But look how clear that is. Absolutely insane. That was sick. Um, that's obviously something you can budget for, but what has happened to Olivia is something that you rarely do budget for. She has broken her phone. Well, you you didn't actually break it. It just broke. We just decided that it was not going to work anymore. Um, this screen is black. All the time. So I've had to have like the LCD replaced. Yeah. Which cost more than I've spent on anything. Yeah, this entire far, time. Yeah. yeah, more than any accommodation yeah. we've had, more than the trip. Which is a bit annoying. Yeah. These things happen. And that is like unassumed cost yeah. that comes with traveling. We were saying that and like medicine are really. Like medicine is a big one that you don't think about. 
because if you're traveling for slightly prolonged periods of time chances are you're going to get sick at some point and medicine in these countries it can be cheap but if you're in touristy areas usually they hike up the price from what I've, I've experienced anyway um, especially in Thailand it was so expensive for medicine maybe I went to the wrong places maybe I was just being a bit naive but yeah go get your phone fixed and then get some food because we've only had some fried banana let's go do that we were doing so well with like our money and like eating out and stuff and we were even saying yesterday like all the nice places are usually a bit of a letdown we just had the most disappointing feed i have had since arriving here yeah we were like cheese toasty <laughs> So tired from the dolphin cruise, and so it's like a good, like, vaccine. Yeah. One more, yeah. really? And he's got these, like, you asked for grilled cheese, and he's got these, like, seven strands of cheese on these, like, pieces of toast. And it was just horrendous. Oh, and, like, and the coffee. $19. Yeah, I can't believe we just paid 19 Australian dollars for that. There you go, lads. You live and you learn. Provide us some comical entertainment. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a laugh, but <laughs> oh, at the expense of nineteen dollars. <laughs> right, we're just gonna go chill by the pool now. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely shattered. Yeah, maybe a bit of a nap. But the weather is outrageous. So yeah, just gonna go chill by the pool. Catch us in a bit. All right, we have made it to Kuta, Lombok. We arrived yesterday, but we were both absolutely shattered. Um, it was like 10 hours of traveling. I uh, went for a surf today. You have to get like a boat out to where it's breaking. Um, got smashed, absolutely smashed. I was gonna get out after like 15 minutes, but Olivia was like, nah, stay in. So I did, you caught a few nice ones. Yeah, towards the end, after I like, surrendered to like just being absolutely mauled in the middle yeah because it breaks on like a reef so you have this like massive square bit of reef that the wave is breaking on and it comes from like boat angles when the tide starts to go out and that's what was happening towards the end and we were just getting absolutely hammered but right now we're gonna have a beer and enjoy the sunset 